today a distraction, but uh, as you say, move forward. How do you get the focus back where it needs to be on getting ready for Sunday? Well, it's not going to be hard. I mean, we've got a great opponent. I think uh, watching that game, they played an outstanding game and looked great on all three phases. Um, they're gelling. They're playing really well. Um, ultimately, we've uh, had some good battles with them in the past as well. Uh, we know we'll have to play better to beat them, uh, so we got to up our game. We're looking forward to that opportunity. Are you glad you guys get another crack at these guys in the Grey Cup? Uh, we're just glad to be in the Grey Cup. Uh, I don't really care who we play. Uh, like I said, I don't think there's hardly anybody, maybe eight people maybe, that were on that team, eight, ten people. We're just such a different team, and uh, um, we're just trying to take advantage of today, not look back. Uh, we also we understand that we're going to try to do some different things. Great Cup week. I got to look at the schedule and I got to make sure that we're focused and and see where we're maybe things worked and didn't work. Uh, so we're looking back at history that way. But we're we're 100 miles an hour onto the next opponent and uh, hopefully we can go out there play our best game and hopefully that's enough to win. Have you watched their their game against the Titans yesterday? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I watched it last night and. Uh, Trying to watch, I try to watch all three phases. It gets tough uh, after watching ours as well. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a, a great performance by them, and uh, they're definitely coming in on a high. Speaking of long time since you've seen them, I mean, you haven't seen this team since like July. Is there, can you take anything from those uh, early games you had against? It does seem like a long time ago. I tried to watch those this morning, uh, but you know, I think we're two different teams running different coverages. I don't think you're going to see a lot of the same stuff. Uh, I think even us, we're not the same team either. So. Uh, completely different games. Uh, you know, you ultimately you're still going against some of the same players. They've had great continuity over there. They've been fortunate. It seems like their guys have been able to stay healthy. And you can tell. You can tell they're on the same page. They're they're working together, and uh, they got a lot of weapons. Uh, they play physical defense. Um, you know, they play a brand of football on special teams. I know Rick does a great job as well as their special teams coordinator. But you can tell they've got a plan. So uh, tall order for us. Uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. But uh, yeah, we got to play well. Trevor so Harris looks like he's coming in on a high. Uh, Which Trevor? Trevor? Yeah, yeah um, it does look like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just, just what, I mean, what did he see from him? I mean, what makes him dangerous? Because I think he's a guy who hasn't always yeah. gotten the respect from from people around the league or people. Well, the, league. the respect from us. I mean, I always thought he's he's done a nice job. Uh, you know we've had uh, we've had fairly good luck against him, and I I'm sure he'll be out to prove us wrong. Uh, we just gotta not look back, uh, try to find ways to stop him. He like said they're so balanced, they got great motions, uh, they're, they run a lot of different stuff. Uh, they're not a one receiver team at all. They've got many many options, so he used them all, and uh, great running back as well. So uh, big challenge for our defense, and we've been hanging our hat with our D. We'll have to have a great performance by them to win it. Over the past couple of years, is there a different mentality or feel like there is going into this week compared to the other years? Um, it has felt different this year. We're working extremely hard, not that we didn't. We're trying to still find out who we are as a group. Um, we're trying to find out uh, you know, what the right mix is. Uh, I don't feel like we're maybe uh, as scary on offense, but we're starting to find the right uh, guys that still give us a chance to win. Um, Maybe a different feel. I, I, there's no overconfidence, and if there was, uh, it could have been, you know, certainly in the past. I didn't feel it last year, but we know we're going to have to work hard and play our best to win. Uh, that's what it should be in a championship game. Is there any update on uh, Romar and, and other than Romar, any real serious injuries? Out? Yeah, Rome's done. He uh, he's the Achilles tear, and uh, yeah, that was very disappointing for him and ourselves. But uh, it's very it's tough to get hurt any time, especially so late, like in the playoffs. Uh, so with such a serious injury. It'll be very tough for him even to be healthy for next year. So, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate things happen, though, in the game. And uh, when he went down, I had a pretty good sense that's what it was, not hit. Uh, still uh, very disappointing for Romar uh, as well as our team. Are you going to have some competition uh, amongst the receiver group again with uh, you know, DeVaris, uh, Bakari yep. pushing uh, pushing some guys? Yeah, I mean, uh, we haven't even got that far, Dave, but I do think uh, I've always felt like uh, – Certain guys can match up better against uh, certain teams, but we have to get down that road. Um, still competition, you know, in other spots as well. Uh, who can get on the roster and who can't? Where's our depth? Uh, we'll, we'll try to figure that out probably by tomorrow as internally. But let's go up there and practice, work hard, and, and see what the right mix is, and uh, hopefully put our best group out there. With the game being out west in Edmonton, lots of red and white. How much can that help you guys? Almost like a home. Uh, let's hope so, yeah. I mean, uh, listen, I say some things uh, tongue-in-cheek, meaning, you know, to try to get a laugh every now and again. But we're excited to have it in the West. Uh, and uh, it's something that we're familiar with, at least driving uh, up there. And 
feels like we'll get a little bit more time, time zone, uh, should have a great chance for our fan base as well as uh, anyone else that wants to get up there. At, um, we're just looking for a great atmosphere, but we're looking forward to just trying to, to accomplish something this team has been striving for, not only this year, but in the last couple of years. And, and we feel like uh, uh, being in Alberta should help us. Uh, I do, at least. Uh, I think it's been in that stadium probably more than, than Ottawa has, so let's take advantage of that. And uh, hopefully, like I said, the weather's decent and we'll move, uh, have a great game. Okay, you've got a lot of guys with a lot of experience handling this week, too, just you know, on, on, on the yeah. roster. How's that going? So do they, though. They got, I mean, but it's still a couple years. But I think it can help, um, but I think you know we have to look at it as a staff on where we can improve and make sure that the guys uh, – I do feel like we were prepared both both years, but we'll just uh, you know tweak it a little bit and make sure that uh, uh, we have the right plan for the guys. You mentioned last night that it might be a challenge getting Eric – Prepared or ready to ready to go for, for the Great Cup? Uh, do you have any update on? I mean, is he sore? Uh, a lot of guys sore. It's a physical game. You know, a lot of ice packs. Uh, you know, guys uh, definitely uh, know they played a physical, rough football game. He's one of them. Um, you saw him though. He's a prime time performer. He clutched up. Had a great game. We've been managing him all year um, since he went back and got that surgery. Uh, we knew it's going to be a little bit tougher to try to use him week in, week out. Uh, it's a great cup, though. There's no next week, so you know. Ultimately, uh, would like him to have the, on the field, and uh, but I'll, I do have confidence we can do that. But uh, also, right now, not, no evidence of that. You've got to see him run and cut, and, and make sure he still looks explosive and do the things he can do to make us win. Alex Sandrin does so much for this team, but I don't know. I didn't know that he had the hands that he, he, he showed. On yeah, the it was today. nice. <laughs> You know what? It was kind of fitting. Uh, he had one of the better games he's had. He's a great tackler. Um, we call him, uh, you know, basically, I, I do think he gives us energy. Uh, it gets the crowd going. For him to finish the game with the ball in his hands there was big. That's a good kick by Medlock. It, it came up short. Uh, it was in an area that, uh, you know, they didn't have a, uh, we didn't have a lot of our guys, our receiver type of guys to catch it. Alex went up and, and made the play. Uh, he doesn't play scared. He plays to make a play. That's the best uh, attitude I can say as far as players. It's, it's play to make the play, uh, not not worried about the mistake. He's been that way all year. Any satisfaction in cleaning out Edmonton's locker room? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we ain't even there yet. Listen, we had a great cup in 2019. So, uh, you know, we will definitely look after their locker room as far as uh, respect. It is a, a big time rivalry, but we will respect everything about that room. Take good care of it, and uh, ultimately, yeah, uh, be nice. Though I've never been in that side. Heard it's a great facility, so we're looking forward to getting our pads in there and our guys, and and uh, making it our home.